Oh, man. Uh, I tell some more TikTok. When my daughter says she'll send my team name to TikTok, we say, no, that, that look like a kind of devil place. <laughs> but <laughs> yes, so we say with my team go to TikTok, no man, we don't have a. I, I frightened to say, oh, oh, TikTok love me. Hello and welcome to Stargazing, the show that brings you up close and personal with your favorite stars of reggae and dancehall music, Jamaican popular culture and people who've impacted society in a very big way. I'm Sean Kane. We invite you to subscribe to the Stargazing with Sean Kane YouTube channel. Like and share the videos and leave a comment. We welcome our listeners on Rex Radio in the UK. In this edition of the show, we'll speak with artist, producer and singer Paul Hamilton. Let's take a look. Paul Hamilton enjoys the big stage. While several people have seen him sing publicly, very few know that he has put his acting skills on show in the National Pantomime. He has made several appearances in the annual event. Paul has told the Stargazing with Sean Kane show that he has worked closely with the late journalist and playwright Barbara Gluden. He has paid tribute to Gluden, who passed away on the 11th of May 2022 in Kingston. Paul recalled that when Gluden scripted the annual show, she would call and inform him of his part. He said that the former newspaper columnist and radio talk show host was a straight-talking person who did not have time for quibbles, especially when she was overseeing the pantomime. He has declared that he will remember Gluden and her stunning contributions to journalism and the theatre movement in Jamaica for the rest of his life. After the pantomime is over, Paul generally spends the rest of the year producing records for himself and other artists, singing at special events and writing lyrics. He has a special place in his heart for the works of the late Sam Cooke, who was shot dead by a motel manager in Los Angeles, California in December 1964. Paul boasts that everywhere he sings, the patrons always likened his style and tone to that of the You Send Me singer. He reveals that over time, he has accepted that he sounded like Cook. Cupid, please hear my cry And let your arrow fly Straight to my lover's heart for me as a result of the constant comparisons, the Augustown resident has recorded a number of Sam Cooke songs, including Only 16, A Change Is Gonna Come, and Cupid. Paul, who began singing seriously in the late 1990s, penned, recorded and performed several songs. Among them are African Queen and the album The Ultimate Paul Hamilton Tribute to the Legendary Sam Cooke, which is currently available for download on all major digital platforms. Welcome back. Paul, what's good, man? <laughs> well, it's good to be with you now. <laughs> it's nice man, because I know you know you are very much a man of many talents you're a singer you're a songwriter you're a producer you are an actor and I know that you've done some work with the late Barbara Gluden and I think now we're all mourning the loss of this really great lady who's done so much for in the field of journalism as well as in the theater movement in Jamaica what was it like working with Barbara first she's a no-nonsense person so once you can face the reality and the fact and the truth, you're comfortable. Mm. So when so you say she's a no-nonsense person, what does she do? She, does she rough you up and say, come on, man, get this done. Where are you? Why are you so late? No, the people who love gossip and saying the wrong things, don't, don't try to face mama glue. Eh? Mm. Can't you're not having any of that. Yeah. Um, what am my policy? You know, I come to the theater to work on the production. So it don't make sense people will come to me and say anything about Mama Blue and Naila. Because I always tell them say, my chick never bumps. <laughs> See, and I show to go on. Right. So this 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 nice person, um, Mama Gluden, 
She come there just to say the production follow the pint and get ready for the 26th of December. That is her duty. So when she come, things have to just get straightened out and get going. Mm -hmm. And that is no problem. That's what everybody is there for. Mm -hmm. So your engagement with her was through the pantomime movement. What, what roles did you play in her productions? I put this way, um, uh, several different, 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 different um, parts. Like my major thing was uh, a stage crew, so the, the, uh, the stage manager, Larry Watson, George Carter, who linked me up to Mama Glue and that thing. Um, but if, if there was a little part and they, they, we, me hear my name call, I'm going to come on stage and say, so Paul, you know, say, I'll drive a truck to the... <laughs> <laughs> so, so right away, we do we have to change what the one who decides to pick up a car. I know. So we have to drive a truck. Yeah, truck. And then she comes again. I say, you have two lines at this point to mine, you know. So again, I'm just get ready again. Yeah, that's, that's that's good, man. That's good. So how much of a loss do you think this is to the theatre movement in Jamaica? The passing of Barbara. Not just the theater, you know. The talk show thing where people, as the teller says, she's a no-nonsense person. So when people have problems with them, light and them water and call and mama glue them, she's going to get to the authority and they must fix it. See? That's the type of person she is. Mm. So it's not just the theater alone. Mm. But up to now, I don't see anybody who on radio who serious like Mama Gruda. See? One of the biggest jokes since her passing is when she said there was a lady who tell her, I say, she afraid of her. And she has said, she afraid of the lady. <laughs> <laughs> see? So, so look at that. Back to the theater now. Yes, it's a, it's a big loss because it, it, what well, people don't realize, you know, um, talent is, is not really a God-given thing, you know. Mm. But when somebody emerges to a certain standard, uh, to put a script together. And I, I tell you, I, tell, I look a secret, too, uh, where I love about her. No care you, other people, me, I tell her, I say, some of the pantomime look like a dance or thing. No! You can't get her to go to that direction. She had to keep it clean. <laughs> and maybe too clean to the other side. And I, I love that because she had thinking about the grandma and the grandpa and the kind of family where it comes to pantomime. Pantomime is a family thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, people understand that. So she has to keep it in the family thing. It's just like me with, with my song. Them, you can't get me write a song with the gun thing and them thing. I prefer stay without a saint, but I have to stick to the, the real thing, the true story, the love story. But that is, you soul, you know, makes sense. A song I play and you ain't going to a dodge. When you say a smile. A smile, I'm feeling good, yes. Yes. Yeah, so, I'm right now, I'm sad. I'd write and talk to me, you know. But yeah, yeah, cheer me up away. But sad, me sad. Sad man, sad mama glued and sad. I know, I know it would be a major loss to even the, 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 the world of journalism, you know, that, that, the, that fraternity of journalism. Because she's done a lot of work as a writer. I was reading an article, I think it was last night on, online, and The Observer was saying that she has contributed so much to their publication and they were just quite thankful for her and it's been many years that she's been doing it she started writing i think they said the second year after they established and she wrote up until probably i think about a year or so ago or a few months ago when she got ill um you, you say something if, if all the journalists can study this with mama blue then it will be nice even though she was to me she was a very close to Michael Mann. You think Michael Mann could have said anything wrong and escape Mama Gruden? To be honest. That's journalism. Yes. Well, I see that you knew the lady very well, Paul, and that's good that 
you can talk about her like this and it, you know that this is not something that you've read you've met the lady you've been in contact with her you've had conversations with her it's very clear that you have but let's look at your musical side one well, before, before you, you leave yes. like that what one of my my um let us say sweetest joke between me and her i get involved with um the observer and do a big commercial with them and then write her, her, her pages, then put my picture. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody sent a and said, Miss Good and want to talk to you, Paul. So I quickly know I think, say, what have I done? Do you do anything? No. And I say, no, I don't do nothing. See? So when I go to him, I say, what is now, though, sir? <laughs> so she go go and she look at me and say, are you not observer? I say, yeah, you know, you're bossy. You was a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there was no beating for you, sir. You, were, you weren't going to get beaten then. <laughs> That's good, Paul. Well, you know, as I said, it, it's great that you can look back at people's lives and you can have a laugh because you see that they had a sense of humor, but they were quite firm in what they were doing and they had standards. Mm -hmm. and we all learned from those standards as well as the information they shared and the stance that they took on certain issues. It just goes to show that we just have to be objective about what we do and we just need to follow that trend. At least. She even made me love her, love her word, you know. She made me love her word so much. What's that word? You know, you know, so she's with it. So you are trying, me are trying to let me with it. So we got to her now and I tell her about a situation where some of them look up mad people have done to some child. And when me said to her, I said, you know, if we say sometime uh, the devil or something made them people do these things, she said, they welcome it. From that, I don't, I don't joke with that word. Mm. Yeah. Anything you see on this earth, it must be the penalty because they welcome it. They welcome it, right? And I learned that from Mama Gluda. We need to think about the consequences yeah. of our actions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're tuned to the Stargazing with Sean Kane show. Now is a great time to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and share the videos, and leave a comment. We're speaking with Paul Hamilton. He's a singer, he's a songwriter, he's also a music producer. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in just a moment. All right, come down now. Hey, Sean Kane, <laughs> when no say nice finger licking, yeah? Know about the fries and the dipping, stargazing, know about the fall picking. <laughs> but a way boy put in a chicken, he? Eh? A way boy put in a chicken, shankin, where boy put in a chicken, he? Eh? Anywhere we see me, I go trick him and find out when he put in a chicken. Ya tall boy, you know it's I call your sabito, I represent for shankin, stargazing, no. where boy put in a chicken, come down. Stargazing with Sean Kane brings you up close and personal with your favorite stars of reggae and dancehall music and people that have impacted society in a very significant way. We invite you to subscribe to the Stargazing with Sean Kane YouTube channel, like and share our videos and leave a comment as we bring you fresh content every week. The Stargazing with Sean Kane show will inspire, educate and bring out the best in you. Stargazing with Sean Kane up close and personal never get no help i'm a struggling yo this is relevant boss and i'm here to represent the stargazing show featuring sean king this show brings you up close and personal with your favorite dancehall and reggae artists what i love about this show it gives young artists an opportunity to share their story and to talk about the obstacles that they've been through to get them to where they are today don't forget to subscribe to the stargazing show on youtube big up yourself sean out that's why my girls stop touch her now I fall in love with the touch her now Oh no, Father Nakin's boss Watch her now You're not in tune to Sean Kane And the stargazing show
Welcome back. You're tuned to the Stargazing with Sean Kane show. We'd like to also welcome our listeners on Rex Radio in the UK. Our special guest today is Paul Hamilton. He's a musician, he's a producer, he's also a songwriter and a singer. But Paul, in terms of your musical side now, I know that you set up A-Town Record, the A-Town Record label, and started making music back in the late 1990s. But I'm just thinking to myself, you probably left it a little bit late, didn't you? Starting. <laughs> uh, it's that really left it a little bit late, you know. Um, in them time there, the talent them in Augustone was so easy to find. Because many things wasn't there to distract them. <clears throat> Look, them time there, I even will live, you know. <laughs> See, for one, one of the, the things where we as youth used to afraid of, believe it or not, is when we say I'm the bedroom like them, for them just in full white. Them shoes white, them socks white, everything about them white. So when they pass nearby, they do fully surround it at the churchyard and you see they took off with the flower and the rice to reach over game mother and all them something. So going up around that and come up now and everybody our friend and we, we used to go down by the riverside catch some swimmers and all them the good thing they fished and all them so most of them people you know we used to give me the um what i love to say read somewhere them, them, them either come star or them, them grow old like myself um so the do they were missing nowadays but i don't know if we can face them but we still that love produce some more people, but you need to make the finance. So at the moment, now, may I do my things for myself you now to get the finance to go back to that direction. Mm -hmm. So I don't really say that, I say leave it and forget about it. I still have any hopes. Mm -hmm. But you worked with quite a few prominent people though, people who whose names we know and we know their music. Bring us yeah, on. Um, I, Michael Rutherford. Even him, him daughter is I who took, took her to Tasis um Cantis. She's the youngest one at nine year old and, and won it. Um Colin Roach. Um Sizzler. Um Tiger. Scary. Donald Scary. Um, um Admiral Tess. A holy, a holy artist. Right. So you wrote the music for them, or you just created? No, no, no. no. That, they, they were so talented. <laughs> just me. I just guide them. You just guide them. Uh -huh. um, right. Yes. And so then, what is required to guide an artist then to record a song? You're in the studio. How do you guide them? What do you say to them? All right. It's, it's two things. You know, artists are sing half key. It's supposed to let them know if uh, even them friend, no, for them, these guys who are probably uh, the music, you know, they do them friend quick for say, lick two shots and make some nice. Them, them, them friend, for them say, you know, said that the word and the right, everything them say it right. See, so with me and my 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 team, we, we used to say, um, I right, we'll go look for a Sunday, Sunday branch, I have make him shape up, I'll right, go look for um, anybody know we have sense of the music, we were, we were afraid to face them. Mm -hmm. But what I think, um, Boima Club was a, was a place for Colin Roach and Michael Rutherford and a couple more. By going there and perform and win and thing, and then turn over Colin Roach, start singing for him with the Boima Club and Michael Rutherford to sing for many of the top band in Jamaica. Mikey was even a student of Sonny Bradshaw. So th these people always reach reach the top and on the side. So I never work with Itana. I never work with her, but she, she passed through Augustine too. Mm -hmm. um, but I work with Money Fagas. That, that was the, 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 la, the last artist, young artist I work with. And she, she runs second in TSD, uh, I mean, Rising Star. Right. You know? that's, that's, that's good, man. But then you, you, you know, you have some big names. You mentioned all, you know, Sizzler and Tiger. And that. Oh, wait, what songs did you produce for them? Let, let's start with Tiger. What was the track? Oh, the tracks. What were the tracks? You didn't talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> right. That was a that was a duet, isn't it? it? Was a collaboration, wasn't it? With, with, uh, yes, with uh, the young artist uh, Valimar. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Yes. And Sizzler, no, the Kalanji man. 
disobedient. Disobedient. Comes <laughs> and and come down. And that and that project was a big name. I send them to us. Ten all of them. Get the record and and we we'll get to we'll go and back the name and play. Ready to tell you. I'll check, I'll check them out, man. At, at the end of uh, you know island chat, you know, I definitely will um, look at what they you know they and, are. And again, in in front of the crowd, um, sister stopped me one day and said, "We are to do a song together." I think I have my part in it, but most of the time when I I decide to check him and I see the crowd around him, I just I just see his back. But the time will come. It's yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I know that you have done your fair share of singing, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, so I, why, why are you hiding, Paul? Why are you hiding? You've got the talent. You've got the experience. I mean, come on. It's started. Now is the time, don't you think? I will tell you why I hide it. You see, what, there was one day, um, this great actress, Sheila Carter, which is Richard Carter's wife, from the St. James Bond movie. There. I was talking to her, and she said, Paul, you know, say, all of these great artists die young. And when she said that to me, I, 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 I do my research. Richie Valentine, plane crash. <laughs> it's like, even Sam Kublo, I, I want to tell you to Bob too. See, I, I read a whole lot about, about, this, about music business. Mm -hmm. Jackie Wilson. Otis Redding. Mm -hmm. there, there was no money for Jackie Wilson, um, two, two women, all them, something there. What is your name? I, I can just tell you a whole thing about James Brown, everybody. See, and then I realized, say, I, I don't want to go too deep. And I realized, say, um, sometimes the people who sign up, they may sign with a with producer who deal with guns and all them things. And they may sign with a producer who deal with another thing, with a two right and all them things. So when I say, yeah, you hear me? So when I did the song African Queen, and I go to some people with a song and I saw them react to me. But one thing, you know, I don't know nobody if it disrespect me. If I learn to kind of stay without anything. See? So there was a thing from JBC named Record Jury. And then my song, African Queen, get involved in it. Then it's going to do a song named um, Pain, I think. I think they threw that out of it and made it come up front. But when we go back to a certain person with my song, we realize that I'm all dealing with a different way. That I even change it to my queen, go to Canada, and the lady said, Why I change it? And I said, Why I treat the African queen when I get the right amount of play? Anyhow, GIS, they give me a chance to come and sing it live. So, Marl, as I say, I believe I'm the first man who come on TV live from, live from August. No? And from that, now I decide to say, All right, other people still want to do it, so I work with them. So, that's why I work with artists and like, Mike Tarot about getting involved in festival with a song name. I'm glad I am proud. I want to say the judge them said this song is the best competitive song, the best Syrian song. Yet them don't get the winnings. They say, wow, <laughs> what you need to get the winnings. Yeah, like, true. Yeah. So leave from the, even Ray Francis invite me down to him studio and I was a sly and rabbi and thing and carry a young lady and the two children and thing. But, I never turn back and ask any question. Um, every song I take to any distributing company in Jamaica, they always take it from me. So that again give me hopes I'm doing something good. Mm -hmm. That's right. Sonic mm -hmm. Zone, Dynamic Zone, Tough Gang. Yeah, I have, a, I have the contract them right now. So when I do the song name, you send me and take the Sonic Zone. The first um, 75 press, Empress. There was a, a China guy was there, buy them, take them to London. 61 London Street, sell off. Then one of the guys told me, said there was the writer from the star that looked for me. So I said, when he tell me everything, he said, but you know what I need to see me because I want to sell the music and if he says the song sell off. I mean, if you get the write up, say, I have a big tune. And that never happened. Um, you know, move away a little from it. And then some, some, this brother from Canada come down and say, every time you check people for work with them, things do work out. So I'm giving me a job for do a thing and I'm come up with the album name, the Ultimate Parliament and a friend. So I'm on Michael Rata, but everybody who close to me is on it. And so VP have it at the moment now. So with me doing some other things now, it forced them more for um, really yeah, for, 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 pull it out, for pull it out and put it back at the front. 
Put it from the back. Yeah. I put it to the front. Yeah. Now, so yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. See, then I may drive them out, you know. But, yeah, <laughs> and, you know but right now, every Wednesday and Base FM, people are request me all that thing. And my boss from the funeral thing, them, you know. See, so you got the funeral. <laughs> yes. And um, we tell you about Judah Smith from, from Reggae in the Field in, in Canada. Yeah. yeah. By the same, she was only 16. I sang there quickly. Them say me give me a two minute start. Then we go lamb back. So, okay, you now when I find and I start boast up some things in my house with my grandchildren, them, it in them easy. Them start, uh, when I say, use the word, burn me out and thing. I mean, I say, oh man, them say me no see you on TV, you hear by the radio. So, a lot just come meet Mr. Dudley Thompson from Roots FM. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah to that man. So, when I when I take my record and add a record to him, him play them the said night, and I say, I want to let him plug out the station. Oh, I was wondering, I was, no, I was wondering, did you take a bag of money with you as well? Let me tell you, I want to let him plug out the station, but the song I'm going to play. So, when we even left, I reach home and some people start telling me that, and they said, no, we say, yes, it happened. So I went back to him and keep on going back to him and tell me, conquer the, the program with my name, what's the verdict, produce the most winning tune. And most of my artists them go six times and ban them. Me, me go three times and say legendary artists and ban me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to give somebody a break now. Give somebody a try. But you know, Paul, as you mentioned that, I was thinking to myself, dare I mention the name Sam Cook? Because oh, God, you man. seem to be like a tribute act now. So tell you what, give us a little piece, man. Because, you, you know, I hear that you're bad, you know, on the spot. You just do a thing. You don't even clear your throat. You just go straight for it. I was born by the river in a little tent. You no, know, just like the river. I've been running ever since. It's been a long, long time coming. But I know a change gonna come. And oh, yes, it will. It's been too hard living, but I'm afraid to die. Cause I don't know what's up there beyond the sky. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know a change going to come. Oh, yes, it will. When I go to the movie and I go downtown, someone keep telling me, young man, don't you hang around. Then I go to my, my brother. And I said, brother, help me please. But he winds up knocking me. Back down on my knees. And oh, there have been times that I thought how I could have lost for long. You're tuned to the Stargazing with Sean Kane show. Now is a great time to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and share the videos, and leave a comment. We're speaking with Paul Hamilton. He's a singer, he's a songwriter, he's also a music producer. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in just a moment. All right, come down now. Hey, Sean Kane, we're no saying nice that finger licking. Yeah? No about the fries and the dipping. Stargazing, no about the fall picking. <laughs> but a way boy put in a chicken. He? A way boy put in a chicken. Sean King, where boy put in a chicken. He? Anywhere we see me, I go trick him. And find out when he put in a chicken. Yeah, tall boy, you know it's ice cold, you sabi to me. I represent for Sean King, stargazing. Where boy put in a chicken. Come down. Stargazing with Sean Kane brings you up close and personal with your favorite stars of reggae and dancehall music and people that have impacted society in a very significant way. We invite you to subscribe to the Stargazing with Sean Kane YouTube channel, like and share our videos and leave a comment as we bring you fresh content every week. The Stargazing with Sean Kane show will inspire, educate and bring out the best in you. Stargazing with Sean Kane, up close and personal. 
never get no help when I'm struggling. Yo, this is Relevant Boss and I'm here to represent the Stargazing Show featuring Sean King. This show brings you up close and personal with your favorite dancehall and reggae artists. What I love about this show, it gives young artists an opportunity to share their story and to talk about the obstacles that they've been through to get them to where they are today. Don't forget to subscribe to the Stargazing Show on YouTube. Big up yourself, Sean. Out. That's why my girls stop touch her now. I fall in love with the touch her now. Oh no, Father Nakin's boss, what you know? You're not in tune to Sean Kane and the stargazing show. Welcome back. You tuned to the Stargazing with Sean Kane show. We'd like to also welcome our listeners on Rex Radio in the UK. Our special guest today is Paul Hamilton. He's a musician, he's a producer, he's also a songwriter and a singer. Paul, welcome back to the show, man. Welcome back from our break. Now, we were talking all about your musical works, about your Sam Cooke, your love for Sam Cooke's music and all of that. But we're going to shift gear a little bit more because at the start, you were mentioning a little bit about how things have changed in August Town. It's not such a friendly place nowadays. It's a bit of a violence prone area how does that make you feel about your homeland being like that it's always a feel downhearted but if everybody think like me the strongest weapon is prayer mm -hmm. i pray to the almighty god mm -hmm. with faith it will come back mm -hmm. so would you say that the prayer is working so far maybe the wrong people them praying yeah, because I think just, la just last week, there was a triple murder in the area. And that is just adding to what happened before. So the statistics are definitely growing. They're on the up. I mean, that should be quite worrying for anyone living in that area. Wouldn't you think? Yes, because um, it's a forgiveness. It's easy to say, what if you don't try to find a way to practice it and believe in it? Mm -hmm. It just linger mm -hmm. in a side. Mm -hmm. The hope is there. I'm still happy to say it'll come back. Yeah. Like but, how, but Paul, how, how safe do you feel moving around the area? Well, put it this way. Um, when you look at a straight shot, them things they can't catch you just like a car can't lick you down to you. Know, in a side. So I wouldn't say big jump and say feel safe. No. Yeah, I feel like a way. Mm. Nervous. Mm. What do you think is the way forward? How how can that be achieved? Like, you know. The, get the peace and everything. And what's the way to finding peace now? What would you say? Okay. My opinion, uh, I remember in my younger days, about three factory was in other stone. So, you know, said, what that mean? Job, job, mm -hmm. job. See, everybody getting busy. So if you can't find a way to get by the town, busy again. That, that's the start, trust me. So, so, to, are you suggesting that it might be poverty and the lack of employment that... Might be causing this. That's the part I do, in a side. So, if you, as we say, if the politician them can get real and put the things them were needed, mm -hmm. that's when they can get a change. Mm -hmm. See, that that can have people mind comfortable, mm -hmm. and, and people will change. So as I. As an elder in the area, do you feel that you still wield some form of influence over the youths that you could approach them and say, well, what's going on here? Probably we should do this or do that. And they might listen to you? It, not, no, not at this moment. It can just rush them when I'm hurt or whatever. Well, Paul, I tell you what, I, I really hope that the peace will return because that's an area. Yeah, we say, try our powerful you know, it's like a return on. To return. Yes. But it's, it's good to have hope, man. It's good to, posit to be positive, have a positive outlook on life and always hope for the best and wish for the best and, and think about the best. Because when you think these things, you kind of pull those onto you. Yes. And you kind of make yeah. them happen. So what's next for Paul? Now, I know you say you've got your Paul Hamilton and Friends album out there and you're doing your interviews here now to get VP to kind of move it from the background and put it to the foreground so everybody can see that this album is out there. 
that's one bit that you're going to be doing. Any new music, anything else? What's the next move? Well, um, song, a song, a Dover song named Let It Be Me by Parliament and Ultimate Parliament and Nicky Bird. That is getting a, a whole lot of play from Bass FM, Roots FM, Mellow FM, Cool FM. Yeah. Um, since we start, my daughter started put up some things on the internet for that and huge um, Instagram and all that. We see them, them rising fast in a side. So I can tell you, say, I'm dead on to that kind of um, state where waiting for me to yeah. hear me sing a few Sam Cooke, a few Chuck Jackson, a few Nat King Cole. See? Yeah. Uh, all them guys there, when we touch them, you know, me and them mellow. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Cook, Jerry Moore, chill, man. <laughs> so where can people find you on social media? Because you you were boasting about your Instagram and all them things, you know. So how can people find? What's the handle? For Instagram, the same Ultimate Parliament, and I find it. Um, Facebook, the same Ultimate Parliament, and I find it. You know, TikTok. Mm. Oh man, I, I tell some about TikTok. When my daughter says she send my thing them to TikTok, we say no, that, that look like a kind of devil place. <laughs> But yes, so I said with my thing go to TikTok. No man, if you know, I I frighten to say, oh, oh TikTok love me, but um, he was uh, one of them way back um Christian book, or show the Jesus Christ story and thing, and sang with Upton James name Beatitude. I use one of the, the modern picture there. When I look back, I I frighten to see the amount of people who view it. So the next Upton James way. I, I put up, I use again and so whoa. And then 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 I said to myself, say, but wait, where Jesus define the people? Is that among the people where I say, and the devil? For the people where him come where I say the Christian people, them they fight it. So TikTok is a place where don't feel that they will they will support the negative, but they will support the positive. You found the formula, man. You found the formula. <laughs> and it's working for Paul, you know what? It was really great, man, listening to you and sharing in your story and you know, you taking us back over, you know, the journey and letting us walk with you. That's really good. And I can see, you know, you met quite a few people along the way and you know I yeah. love me, I love them. He's good. Every great person I woke up, I, I don't forget them, like John Bird from Fetcher's Land. That is the man who um in, in, in the people that love him in a side. And from, from him link up with me, him stick with me, and I think show to, to Harry and Sydney, them people they always let me get some credit. And because I get boasting the pan roots for them, I give away a credit like a bee. <laughs> you know, side to other talent. Uh, hey, look at him too, roots of them come up with uh, and thing. We get some champagne credit and get the winner and all of something. So it work for them said people try to find me back for my page and all that. One hand can't clap. I'm just blue to that too, you know. She said yeah. one hand can't clap. See, <laughs> Barbara's name will be called for a long time to come, man, because guess what? These people are people of wisdom and they've left a lot with us. And we'll just carry on using them as we go along, using those words and the wisdom what we got from them to pull us through difficult times. Right. Now, I always ask questions from this book, Paul. It's called Reggae Larger Than Life, the ultimate reggae music fun and games book. It's a book written by myself. It's available currently on Amazon, also available in Jamaica at Ashby's Pharmacy, 160 Old Hope Road in Kingston. It's also available at the bookshop at the University of the West Indies Mona Campus. And if you're more into apps, the Android version of the app is available from the Google Play Store. Just type in Reggae Larger Than Life fun app, download it, and the rest is for you to enjoy. So Paul, I've selected two questions for you, man, and I know you've said quite a bit and you're a man of wisdom and everything. So let's see how strong you are then, if you can prove that over in this, because you've done it in your interview. So let's see if you can do it in your reggae knowledge as well. So the first question here says, which of the following crooners fronted the celebrated band Third World from 1976 up until his death in 2014? The options are Bunny Ruggs, Bunny Goodison, Bunny Whaler, and Burning Spear. Okay, there, there, there's a good friend of mine, his name Prilly Hamilton. Right. I know where you're going. I think I know where you're going now. <laughs> well, I'm not going there. I'm going to tell you, it's Bunny Ruggs. <laughs> right, right, right. Because once you start mentioning Prilly, and I know that, yeah, you, you, know, your, you know your third world. You know that. <laughs> right, sir. Right, that's good then. Uh, so let's go now. The next one. Uh, it says, 
Do you remember the name of the DJ who demanded that Mr. Chin sold the right thing in the 1980s? Papa San, Peter Metro, Yellow Man, Big Youth. Who was he? Mr. Chin, is that right? When I'm, when I'm going to England, you know, it, it, it comes like it was Michael Jackson going down, you know, it's kind of welcome when you get in the side. So when people are talking about DJ and slackness and the wrong thing, just go and observe back Yellow Man because. Yellow man never, never have to follow them at all about shoot off money and all of these things. And up to now, I don't feel that many of the top DJ them were up. Even singer went to the place them that yellow man reached. That is See? true. So as I say, do good music. Yellow man, you talk about us. Yes, man. it is, man. Because I remember all them Blueberry Hill and all them kind of things. So it's not just yeah. DJing business alone. Yellow was when, when yellow man sing about Blueberry Hill, it made a great legend get to tour again, you know. Ah. See that? So look at that. Yellow man make the legend get to tour again. That's why I tell you, say, music don't have no date. And you, you can't even enter it. But I think Great Charles has seen over Georgia two, three times. Eh? Look at that. Where am I look for? Some of them are different. are different with the sound. I say, you know, some great added to it. I eat tunes, I eat tunes. Yeah, man. definitely. Yeah, and it must be you must produce make good music because look, that's ja, ja, still selling Georgia on my mind, still doing well. Artists are right. doing that over. It's way you know, and then him remind him say when him sign the contract, them tell him say they won't interfere with the money music. So him not really want to left them and go to somebody else. We send them game, they okay. Even the band member them, they get dropped because them that criticize, say what kind of song this summer come with. It. And it's the biggest country restaurants. That song, Saint Ray Charles. So you see, say, when a man I tell us, you have to stay a reggae, you have to stay a papa, you have to stay a this. And me say, if you find the market and get the thing there, it can happen. Can happen. Every person wants to invite to, to invite on a show in Memphis, and when them perform. And people them see him, him get another show, another show, and tell him, become a giant. Definitely, man. Well, I tell you what the question, the questions were taken from this. Yeah, go on. Everything go two way now. Yes. Because I'm sure next week, Sam Cook now, him come up with him one label and everything. But him the band, he be a man, so he break down all of the wall. So a man will tell us, say, can't follow Sam Cook too. True. So that's what I'm trying to say. If any way thing can happen, as long as you believe in it and do the right thing, it will happen. Just make good music. That's it. That's that's the trick. Mm -hmm. to it. Just make good music and don't try to kill people because people is the what people are the ones who are going to support the music. Who are supposed to enjoy it. Who are supposed to learn from it. Take wisdom from it and kind of add that to their own formula, life formula. So you can't give them bad music. You can't tell them to go and kill people. You can't talk about you know black rhino bullet. You're gonna get an aim for the head and let marrow fly and all that madness. So do good music. Do good music and it will live on. Man. Well, I tell you what, the questions were taken from this book, man, is Reggae Larger Than Life, the ultimate reggae music fun and games. Sorry? I, I make a pledge. I'm making a pledge. I go and get a copy. You said them sold at university, right? Yeah, man, university bookshop. Definitely so. Yeah, man. I know I, the bookshop. That's, yes. That's a good deal. Okay, well, there you go. So you know your way around, man. So I appreciate that. So the questions were taken from this book, Reggae Larger Than Life, The Ultimate Reggae Music Fund and Games Book, written by myself. Available at Ashby's Pharmacy, 160 Old Hope Road in Kingston, Jamaica. Also at the University of the West Indies Bookshop at the Mona Campus. Also, if you're into apps, the Android version of the app is available from the Google Play Store. Just type in Reggae Larger Than Life Fun app, download it, and that's yours forever. Well, Paul, it was really great, man, looking back over your journey. What can I say? Yes, sir. Really good. <laughs> don't, look like it, don't look like it greater. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, see, there you go. And you know you have some people to burn out in us, so. <laughs> when I see your thing rising up in your case, well, see, you were saying, here we go. What else have you got to say now? You know, so you'll have the last laugh, man. Well, that's it for this edition of the show. It was a pleasure sharing some time here with our special guest, who's Paul Hamilton. He's a singer, he's a producer, he's also a songwriter. 
and he's worked with so many artists. Now, this is a good time for you to remember to subscribe to the Stargazing with Sean Kane YouTube channel. Like and share the videos and leave a comment. Also, we'd like to say thank you too to our listeners on Rex Radio in the UK. Until next time, this is Sean Kane saying thanks for spending some time with us. See you soon. Stargazing with Sean Kane brings you up close and personal with your favorite stars of reggae and dancehall music and people that have impacted society in a very significant way. We invite you to subscribe to the Stargazing with Sean Kane YouTube channel, like and share our videos and leave a comment as we bring you fresh content every week. The Stargazing with Sean Kane show will inspire, educate and bring out the best in you. Stargazing with Sean Kane up close close and personal Leave